everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here and welcome to the very first episode of the build your budget planner using a notebook series i'm so 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 excited for this series after getting a ton of great feedback from the last diy budget planner i used or i created last year which just so happened to be in march as well i think i decided to create this series and i originally intended to just do an updated version of it but then it hit me and i decided to just break it down into bite-sized pieces, meaning we are going to be building pages throughout the course of the next couple of weeks. I'm not exactly sure how long, but we are going to be building each section video by video so that you're not overwhelmed by the amount of things that you need to create for your budget planner. Also, the goal of this too is to show you that you do not need a planner or you don't need a budget planner. You don't need an app. You don't need a spreadsheet to just get started. Yes, those tools are pretty awesome and helpful, but I find that if you're getting started, stuck and trying to find reviews on the greatest apps and planners to use, just use a notebook that you have laying around first. Start with writing first. I feel like that helped me out on my budgeting journey as well. So yeah, use a notebook, whatever you have laying around. So last year's video, um, I used I used this notebook that I had just laying around. Since I couldn't find any more notebooks, my kids just kind of used all the ones that I had. I decided to purchase a bigger one. So this one's a little bit bigger. This one's from Amazon. And I was really looking for a notebook that had more than the 70 sheets because and that wasn't that didn't have like multiple subjects and stuff I know I probably could have just tore off the dividers but I was really looking for a notebook that had more than the 70 pages and I believe this one has a hundred I know it's just 30 sheets more but I want to make this notebook planner not just for this video but I'm gonna be using it throughout the entire year because I want to get a good idea of how much budget planning I can get in just one notebook. This actually came in a pack of three so I'll see if, if I even have to use the other notebooks but I'm hoping I can just have everything in here. So for today's video I'm going to be creating the budget overview slash master list as well as the budget category list but before I get into that I do want to show you what other pages I do plan to create and then if you have any feedback or if you would like me to create another page just let me know and I can totally add that and again this will be this budget planner is for my family so you might see pages in here that might not apply to you so just take whatever you need to create as inspiration for whatever works in your budget financial life oh one thing i forgot to mention is that one of the things that drew me to this notebook was the pocket folder because since i am going to be using this in a real life i have a feeling that i might need to use this to put some bills and stuff which i should have put our dmv registrations in here um because i need to pay for mine that just came in so things like that that has to do with budget planning or our finances so for this very first page i actually just needed this to be blank because i needed my budget overview let me scoot this over i needed my budget overview and the budget categories i wanted them kind of side by side so this i just left a blank and i just ended up putting 2022 family budget and just manifesting over here this year will be the year our net worth hits six figures at 100k so yeah you can do whatever you want with this page create a vision board if you want if you're creative and all of that do whatever you need to over here um, or just leave it blank so yeah these two are the two pages that we're going to be building out but let me show you what else i do have planned debt overview over here and i'm also going to be creating a debt tracker even though we are debt free i want to show you guys how this layout would look because using the debt tracker in the back of my passion planner was very helpful because it was just it was a great reminder to um at the end of the month to check our balances and just check on our progress so i'm going to be keeping that a savings goals breakdown long-term savings i'll get more into this later on um, short-term savings which is our sinking funds and then our sinking funds um, trackers i'm going to be putting on here so i plan to have four here and four here because we have eight um, financial goals on two pages um, our net worth tracker i didn't have that before but i am tracking our net worth now just don't know if i'm going to do it monthly or quarterly um, and then I wanted to leave this page blank and I can just use it for notes if I need to. And then this is where the budget starts. So this year I created a budget principle, I, not this year, last year. If you're subscribed to my newsletter, you do have the password to access the free resource library. This is for free or you can use whatever you want. But the last time I drew in, let me see, I drew in the budget calendar 
in here and I thought that was kind of way too time consuming for me. So if I'm really gonna do this this year, I want to lessen the time it takes to build out this calendar. Of course, you don't have to use a calendar in here if you don't want to. You can just use your phone or whatever's on your wall, but I personally like to write in here. Um, so instead of having this on my wall, it'll just be in my notebook. And then by weekly paycheck budget number one, by weekly paycheck budget number two, I made myself a little note over here to have a variable spending tracker because I did do one in the back of my passion planner two years ago, I think. Um, and I thought that that was really helpful if um, you are using a debit card to mostly do your spending. So um, expense tracker number one, this is for the first paycheck budget. Um, expense tracker number two for the second paycheck budget. I should have mentioned that we do budget bi-weekly, so that's why it's two paycheck budgets. But, you know, do this or tweak this however will fit how, how you guys will budget. Cash expenses, the cash expenses for budget number one and two. We don't do a whole lot of cash, so I'm just going to split this up. And then a monthly budget recap here. And then I did get someone that asked me to do a travel one, which is perfect because we are going to Hawaii this year. Um, so my travel planning is going to be in the back and I did just leave a couple pages here just so I have some room to jot down notes, activities, flight information, hotel information and all of that and all the places we want to go and eat and stuff like that or visit. Um, and then my logins page is going to be here in the back. So that was just a really quick overview of what's to come over the next couple weeks. So let's go ahead and get started with building out the budget overview. Every time, even before I was consistent with budgeting, I've always had some kind of budget overview. Like I've always had a page where I put down all of my bills, the expenses, um, things coming up, our income and all of that, just so I have it as a reference. Okay, so at the very top, I'm just gonna put budget overview. I'm not gonna make it all fancy or anything, but just, capital letters will do just fine for me feel free if you are creative you know go for it with the lettering and stuff and yeah so budget overview flash master list i'm gonna put master list on here i like calling it that um i used to call it my budget cheat sheet before too which i still kind of do so this on this side is going to be my monthly bills all the fixed bills that have a due date on them and to maximize the page a little bit i'm going to go over on this side and put the due date here and I'm going to try to do my best to put these in order sometimes i tend to forget a couple things um, but i have my budget overview on my computer over here that i'm referring to so i'm just going to put this hopefully in order so rent is due on the first of course and then it's crazy i don't have another bill due until the 12th our electricity bill is due usually between the 12th and 14th the dates kind of change so i just have to keep an eye on it netflix is due on the 19th i should have already put my life insurance on here on the 18th i told you i'd have something that go out of date it usually happens and then on the 21st is my life insurance and then on the 23rd is cell phone what i used to do also with my budget overview as we pay down debt and stuff it was just kind of nice to update this and get rid of a debt or something that we don't no longer pay for because it's nice to see that you don't have a long list of bills to pay for which was just felt nice to see. So cell phone and then Disney Plus. So on the 28th and then our car insurance. And then right now we are doing a sponsorship. I think this is going to be the last month that we send money over and then we're going to switch to a different organization or contribute somewhere else i'm going to put this is usually bi-weekly so i like to put that on there and then pay range is my laundry app and this i do bi-weekly unless so every paycheck budget will have 50 dollars, and that's on our chase card so let me put amount over here 
And then I also like to have a notes section just in case I need to make any notes on any of these. I used to have some of these on credit cards and that's what I'll put the notes. That's where I'll put the notes in there. You know what? I already forgot something. Shoot. I don't like it when things are out of order, but I'm going to put it down here. So internet is due on the 27th. So actually... I'm going to put 21st because that's when we pay for it on my husband's Capital One card. So I'm going to put internet on here. And then that is kind of going out of order over here. So that's $79.99. And oh, I don't like that this pen is kind of breaking. I think it's because I'm still kind of writing on top of here. I don't know. But um, these are my favorite pens to use on notebooks and stuff. So that's what I'm using. So $79.99 and that's on cap card. I think that's all. I think that's all that we have on a card right now automatically. And right now with our electricity, our average right now has been about $100. Netflix went up to 20. You know what? I'm going to change this and just do the whole amount. I'll just do $80 on here. And then life insurance for my husband is 118. Mine is 92. Cell phone on average is about 235, which we are still planning to transfer to Mint Mobile. Disney Plus is 14. Mercury is at 120. And then our sponsorship is bi-weekly, so in a month. So we do 125 each time. So in the month it'll be oops, it'll be 250. And then pay range is 100 because we do $50 each time. So in one month it's $100. And then I'm going to do the total. So that is 2524 is my total. So here on this side, I'm going to put the seasonal expenses, which is basically our, our annual bills that are due. So we have, I'm going to try to do this in order. So our AAA membership is a third amount is 135. Let's see if I can use another pen. So this was a new pack of pens. So hopefully maybe it was just that pen. Um, but yeah, so anyways, so XB registration that's due on oh so this is i should have put january and then this one is february 20th tax prep fee and that's usually in february so i'm just gonna put february and it was 155 and that included my business stuff as well caliber registration that's in may may 2nd and that one, I think this year I got the bill, it was 149 And our Sam's membership, this one's 100 hopefully they don't increase it. This one's due on the 17th. And this one's actually on annual. I just gotta make sure I put it in the budget so that when it takes out money, it's accounted for, which is why I have a cushion in my account for just some of those things annually that I forget to put in the budget. Prime with the tax on there is 130 it's on june 19th and then beach body i do plan to cancel I and mean, that's 99 dollars. this pen's still kind of stopping too i don't know maybe it's just how i'm writing it's definitely this pen's definitely a lot smoother than the other one so nintendo online i do plan to keep because it's a family one and we get to play with family online it's usually like mario kart and stuff or super smash brothers and that's due in october and that's 30 dollars a year so the total Total for this is I'm just gonna put total. I don't plan to be add any more memberships, so um, let me add that up. Nine ninety three. So this guys make sure you're not just accounting for your monthly budget you're making sure you add in the seasonal expenses because if your income is a lot lower or kind of varies you want to make sure you save for this little by little each month maybe you don't have as much as i do make sure you put that in your budget as well and on your calendar another thing that i wanted to put on here was i put on my spreadsheet budget but i think it's super important to put on here is our credit card due dates because now that we are since we are debt free we still like to put our certain things on our credit cards and just want to make sure we're always aware of the due dates so these are the credit cards that we have it's also kind of nice to see what we do have that we can use synchrony capital one 
I mean, that's MC. So this one's on the third. This one's on the fifth. Actually, this one we need to call because something's up with that one and we can't use it for some reason. I like to put whose credit card is whose. And I just put like our first initial on there. And this one is Chase. I put our pay range on here. So let me put on Chase here. This one's due on the 7th. And then my capital one. This one's due on the 13th. Barclay, that's due on the 13th as well. And then Discover for my husband, that one is on the 13th as well. And then another one for my husband, his other capital one, which is Quicksilver, is due on the 21st. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, which is a lot. We actually had more than that before. So this is what we have right now. After this, I'm going to go ahead and do, I want to do our variable spending. I'm going to put a box around this and kind of section it out so it doesn't look too, too crazy. I want to put our sinking funds on here as well. So our variable spending. That's going to go right here, variable, spending. So our categories usually stay the same. So that's food, house, hold, transportation, kids, husband's allowance, and then my allowance. And then we also have fun and events. And most of these we do have sinking funds for. So sometimes I'll be adding, um, if we go over on any of these categories, I'll be adding it from our sinking funds. Or if we need to use our sinking funds, our budget will be increasing in here. Or that's when I'll increase our budget for here when we transfer over our sinking funds. Healthcare and then our miscellaneous. And then our typical amounts on here. So food, Bi-weekly is about 600, so I'm going to put 1,200 on there. And then for transportation, um, I did increase this one. Oops, it's kind of skipping ahead. Transportation is at 250. Household, I'm leaving at 80. And these aren't going to be the exact amount every single month. It's just kind of like a general kind of like an idea and you'll see why I'm doing this in a little bit um, and then kids will do 60 and these are the monthly amounts not the bi-weekly amounts um, my husband's at 200 my allowance is at 70 for the month 35 bi-weekly for an events 70 as well healthcare 70 and then miscellaneous 100 because I like to do 50 per paycheck so the total for this is 2100 so here in the bottom I'm gonna do our the income minus all the bills um, but I'm not going to include the seasonal expenses on here because I just want to have a good idea of how much I'll be able to save or have left over with the amounts that I planned out in here so I'm going to put leftover slash I like to call this our savings potential each month so it's at 46.24 so as you guys can see we only have about $76 that will be left over we are usually able to save more than that but this is just a good kind of like idea or overview of how it would look because if i was in the minus then i'd be super worried and we'd for sure need to make sure um, we increase our income so this is just a good starting point or number to see so this is how our budget overview master list turned out i'd like to have this again on here because it's just a nice area to reference all of your financial obligations and your typical spending and stuff yeah so i think this is really important to have in your budget planner so for the budget categories i think what i'm going to do is just fast forward through it um, and then talk about it once i finish
So this is my budget category breakdown. I tried to do my best with the highlighters that I had. These are the highlighters that I used when I was budgeting before in a budget planner. So I'm kind of glad I still had this laying around. Um, so for our budget categories, we have food. And under that is takeout and groceries, transportation, gas, parking, and our car wash. Household, um, we do our um, cleaning supplies on there, laundry supplies, plants, storage, and organization. Um, kids, uh, school expenses, clothes, activities, allowance, and books. I don't have toys on here anymore because if they want a toy, they can get it with their own money. Uh, my husband and myself, it's just our personal spending. Uh, fun and events, birthdays, holidays, and celebrations. We have a big family, so this one's an important one for us, which is why we also have a sinking fund for this, uh, for this category. Healthcare is our doctor visits, medicines, prescriptions, anything that has to do with our health and wellness. Miscellaneous is whatever doesn't belong. I was actually thinking of putting a course that I had just purchased under miscellaneous or I was, if I was going to do like a learning category, I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, so it's just whatever doesn't belong. It also serves as a cushion for us as well. Savings is all of our sinking funds, emergency, college savings, retirement savings, and house down payment savings. Rent is just rent. Um, utility has our internet electricity, laundry, and our cell phone. And then for subscriptions, it's Disney Plus, Netflix, and then our annual expenses here uh, which for Sam's Club, Nintendo, Beachbody, and then AAA. And then life insurance is just, or insurance is just life and car insurance. And then for giving, it's our sponsorship, donations, and then whatever we contribute to our church. Um, and then for seasonal, I have two, it's Christmas and travel. And under Christmas, these are the categories that fall under there, which we sometimes tend to forget because Christmas is not just about the gifts. There's activities, food, decorations, and then cards as well. And then for travel, uh, we have road trips, hotels, car rentals, and then food. We never used to have hotels or car rental on here because mostly our travel budget is for uh, whenever we visit my mom. But sometimes, or recently, we did re uh, rent a car last year and stayed at a hotel. So that was new for us. So just decided to put that on here. And this is how it looks side by side. Um, as you guys can tell, I switched my pen midway because that ballpoint pen was just getting on my nerves. I'm going to try it out again because I really love that pen. I don't know what's going on, if it's just how I'm writing or whatnot. I did notice that this time, I think last time it had that um, that gel tip on there when it was new, but this one didn't have it. So I don't know if that's why. I don't know. I'm going to give it another chance because I don't know if I like the bleed through or it doesn't really bleed through you can just kind of see it um the highlighter didn't go through which i really love because i am going to be highlighting the heck out of my budget planner especially with the expense tracker so yeah um kind of excited to be writing again and using my highlighters again um, and just making notes and all of that in paper because i usually write my budget notes in another notebook or in my planner so yeah um so budget overview master list budget category breakdown next week i am going to be doing a debt overview and our debt tracker that's what i'm going to be setting up i hope that you enjoyed this video hopefully you are going to enjoy this series let me know in the comments down below if you guys are using a notebook as your budget planner or if you plan to build out your budget planner with me as I go through this in the next couple of weeks. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching, especially for watching till the end. And I will talk to you in my next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.